Hey, hi, it's Jackie again. It is all the way to June 30th. It's going to be July and we are still in isolation. So Mahay wanted to talk, you know, we talk about the word of the week and this one is hope. And he finds really interesting things for me to do, don't you think? I mean, he couldn't pick an easy one. No, he picks hard ones like justice last week and hope this week. But it's a really good word and let's talk about it. We've got our little trusty tourmaline that I carry, but let's get our energies together. Remember, we are not bound by time and space, so we can do this together no matter what. And I'm gonna bring this into my hand. I handed it to Pat, but he missed my cue. Bring your hands together, cup it up through your energy field, bring it into your, your face and just cup your hands together. And this is a deep breath. It's like a 15 second meditation. And it's gonna realign you. It's gonna center you and bring your energy field back into harmony. There you are. Good. All right, so now let's see here. I'll clean this up later. And we're gonna spray with the Cosmic Lens, right? Just all through our aura clear away anything there is any disturbing energy no matter where it is no matter what it is it doesn't matter so it's interesting because the world as we might have seen is a little bit going awry things are a little bit nutty i guess we could say nutty but remember that it's part of the divine plan Back when uh, the coronavirus first came out, we talked about how the celestials felt not concerned or, or, or any of surprised, any of those things. They felt, okay, this is the step, this is the phase that we are in, in the transition of humanity. And this is what we are doing through our light bodies we are transitioning all of humanity. Some are fighting. Some don't want to change. A lot of don't like change. Change is an interesting topic. Maybe Mahay will choose that one next time. But with that, some people are feeling enormous amounts of despair. And they're feeling um, lonely and missing their loved ones in this time as we only feel that things are getting worse and not better. So let's talk about hope, because hope is not a wish. A wish is a very weak request. Hope, let's think of hope as the knowledge of things to change. Hope is knowing that we will project that energy into a better vibration. Hope is not a wish. Hope is putting yourself into the grace of energy that will propel you and move you forward into the light. So as we're feeling this time and we're all feeling struggles in our own way for whatever it may be, we need to know which is more than hope, that we are succeeding, that we are moving into the light. And that's why, I, like I use selenite, like I use selenite to help to project my energy upward. And I use things like this. These are all organites, but this one is rose quartz, amethyst, and quartz with the flower of life. Now remember, the flower of life is the geometric configuration of all life. So I, I kind of had that around right now because I like to keep it around because that's what we're doing. We are changing our structure, our life light structure, as we move into lighter light beings. So we know, we know that we are moving forward, which is much more than hope. It is knowing, and we do know. So hope gives you this feeling like, well, maybe it will happen, maybe it won't happen. 
So I want you to focus on knowing, knowing that it is so. Knowing that you came here as the light seed you are to be the light, to move the light, to change the world, to change you, and in the process, change the world. Humanity is indeed growing. Don't pay attention to the few that refuse to change. There will always be those who refuse to change. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to move anyway. We move anyway. The light moves anyway. So as we come in, we want to really bring that knowledge of knowing that we are moving forward and that we are the light. So I want you to bring that light through you from the source, from the Father. Remember that warm, yummy, golden light? That's the one we use in these meditations. And bring it on down through your body into your throat, down into your chest and out your arms, your hands, into your hips, your knees, your legs, your calves, your thighs, out, I did that backwards, out into your ankles and your feet into the earth. Now, bring that light all the way down to the mother. And remember, crunch your toes on the grid system, the grid, of the earth is the electrical energy, is the life force of the mother, of the earth. And when we clench down with our toes, when we connect, we get connected to the mother. And she gives us that love, understanding, and nurturing that we need. So we really want to feel connected into that vibration of the mother. And then of course we bring the light back up the back of our spines and back to the source. And we let that connect again to the father energy, to that strong energy, the strength, the grit that we need right now. And we bring it back down the front of us so that we are these Johnny light seats generating light through every part of us, through my fingertips, through my toes, through my breath, through my eyes, everywhere. So that everything that I do, every word that I speak, every thought that I think is of love. And when I feel a moment of doubt and I lose hope, I bring myself back to the center and I bring myself back to my center so that I know that I am light. So let's do it a couple of times together. Bring it down the front from the source into the earth to the mother. And she says, hello, good to see you. Hold you in your arm, her arms and you feel that love. And you grab onto that light, that energy field, and then you bring it right back up your back, back to the source. And the Father says, yes, yes, you are one. You are the light. You are love. And he sends it right back down again, down the front to the mother. Oh, and we do that a couple of times, bringing it down and bringing it up. And this rejuvenates your energy. It connects you heaven and earth. And it helps you do your work as the light seed you are. And let that light, as we bring it down from the source and back up from the mother, and let it rainbow out your first aura and your second aura and your third aura. And here's the collective consciousness in that third aura where all the chatter and all the noises and all the craziness is. Let's shift it now. 
Let's shift it with our energy so that all that we radiate is love, harmony, centeredness. And we fill our heart chakra and we do the same. We bring that out to our fellow humanity, our brothers and sisters, and let them feel that love. Let them know they are loved. And let you know you are loved. As we bring it out into your throat chakra and you express love, harmony, kindness. Kindness. Because no matter what, when it all comes down to it, we're all the same. We're all the same. We are specks of energy in light bodies. And then we bring it out through our third eye so that we remove self-doubt and through our crown chakra so that we are divine and we project that in our aura, in our energy 24-7 because this is our job and we know we know we are succeeding. We don't hope to succeed. We know we are going to succeed. And there's a huge difference there. It's a huge difference. So I want you to know that you are loved and that we are so appreciative that you chose to have your life now in this time of humanity's greatest need. And we thank you for doing all your good work and to keep up that good work. You know, I'm going to do a workshop on August 9th called The Ascended Masters. It is one of my favorite workshops because we get to connect with the major Ascended Masters and we can teach you how to make that connection yourself so that you can get more help while being on this planet as the little star child you are. So if you want more information on it, you can go online to my website at chakralife.com or you can give me a call and we'll love to talk to you. So, all right, I will see you next week. And until then, remember, we know that we are going to do this. And you know what? We're doing a darn good job. So pat yourself on the back. I love you and I'll see you next week.